song for you. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. First thing I want to tell you guys is today is my birthday. I'm 35 years of age. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the last video that I post. If not, you guys can check it out. It's a trip that we went to Letem. Well, when we was in Letem, we made it in the Rupununi Savannah and we went and do some fishing in the Rupununi River and we passed through a few villages. So I want you guys to check out this video. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. After traveling all the way from Georgetown to Kurupukari, you see we made our way all the way to Letem. Now we came a bit into the Savannah to a village called Markanata Village. And today we'll be heading to the Rupununi River and do some fishing and some sightseeing as we pass through the Savannah, checking out some other village. So check this out here and look where we're at. That's where these guys are going on here. That's how we do it in the Rupununi. See that deer? That's a deer them guys caught last night and that's what we're having. We're probably breakfast or lunch. I don't have no ideas yet, but this view here, it's beautiful. You can see the big open savannah. So right now I'm surrounded by savannah and this is like the only house here in the savannah so we have to drive all the way somewhere in that direction to another village as we make our way down to the Rupununi river well this is here we slept last night and we have to take down the tent because the wind speed is really really high it's like being on the sea wall wind just blowing very hard it's coming from the savannah hard 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 so you don't gotta get fun and easy out there the place is cool enough the masling up a nice deer at the back there no i see it yeah man got deer at the back there i drew this you guys now at the back there but you're gonna like it at the back here What a life to live out here. You wouldn't regret being out here for a few days. Nice little place in the middle of the savannah. Them guys got a pump, pumping up water and it's distributing all over. They have light all over at night. And those guys go out and hunt and come back with this deer. And that's how they live. Nice parrots enjoying on the fruits around here they have cashew they have five finger they have dongs they have a lot of orange and a few other things mango coconut so out here nice and this is a new place for me never been here before so we can head down to the Rupununi river and check it out after we grab breakfast so yeah don't know support your thing subscribe to the channel fill it going places for y'all last night when we arrived here the big woman inside here welcomed we with a big pot of fish sauce and she was telling us that they were here since in 1956 the ranch was outside here and the building was a two-story building and they went away and they came back and well the elder folks passed away and they just stripped the building down to this here and this is where they live now so they are bringing out breakfast for us and then we eat and then head out on the Rupununi river Arjun and Jain himself what a leaf and a, and a vacation for him Arjun so since 1956 Arjun this is how long ago it was yeah, she tell me it was a two-story building and the elder folks passed away and they break it down and this is how they live in now. Yeah. Alright, so 
stacks coming out. Let me eat and head out to the Rupununi River. Off we go, straight to the Rupununi River. Enjoy the view as we make our way over there. Big Savannah. out for this view every time we make a joke yeah we are yeah, got we getting tilted to the mountain well we reach till to the mountain <laughs> we, 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 we on top of the mountain <laughs> we know we want to reach so far all right still got a good hour and something more to travel to where we're going Karanambu. This is our destination here. Nice Arjun. Yep. New location for both of us. Never been here before. Very nice. Hello, brother. Hi, morning. Whoa. Even get more better. Nice. Well, since yesterday when we were coming off the main road, we we're making joke about the mountain in the horizon, saying that we we're going that far, and everyone take it for granted. Well, we drive through the drive to the mountain, through the mountain, over the mountain, past the mountain. Now we're here at Karanambu, and we're trying to organize with a boat to take us fishing on the Rupununi River. Check this out here. This is Karanambu. This is a beautiful place and we drive about two hours to get here from where we were this morning. Check this out. I think this is the location where she used to be taking care of these River Otto, but she passed away. You know, her picture's big in the zoo. All right, so we go and see what's going on. I organize with someone and see if we can get out on the river. If not, we just drive around and check out a few more village on the way back. This is nice. This is nice. New location for 
everyone never been here before we passed a set of mountain over on that side there that's the Karasabai mountain ridge where I did went over there and do a board watching tour with Leon Moore before so I never come down this side and we passed a few other village on the way here like Yupokari and other location by Arjun taking out some pitch and giant itself all right so let me see how things go hopefully we get a boat and go out there see if we can catch went to the Rupanun river before but i never fished it girl. so i can't say what's inside here we're just going out and have fun and see what we can catch nice location where well, we did get onto a captain and he's taking us out yeah check out this view here This is the Rupununi River. We know we're out there for we catch, but we just getting out and enjoy ourselves for the day. They make the way back to the village. I visited this river once before, but I've never fished it and that's more bottom side not all the way up here well I don't know what we're gonna catch out here so we can ask the captain and see the what well, kind of species of fish we can get all right so I'm guys setting up the rod and reel and whatever well it's mainly catch and release car can't keep anything all right then so let me go set up myself and let me head out on the river and see what we can catch for the day Look at Nani Lake, this will be there. Black Lake? Yeah. yeah. What is call this lake, boy? What's the lake name? What's the lake name? You got a name? Simoni. Simoni. Alright. Alright, Simoni Lake. Simoni Creek, wherever it is, Philip is here. Show up something big for me today. Woo! Big one, too. Is ready to. Oh. As we ask for you, sir, Yeah. As we ask for you. What? Take a time with the action. Got a nice size. That's tired, you out. No, I see it out of the water. No, I see it out of the water. Like that. First one for the Rupununi, Arjun. Hey, yeah. Hi. Hey, hey, man, I don't know why you see me on Facebook post up with a set of big fish. <laughs> <laughs> we pull in a kind of dust and roast the same one. Yeah. Look good, Arjun. Nice one for the Rupununi. You going for the menu, so? Yep. Yeah. I never eat a red belly pea right either, but this one's a chunky. We can eat this one here. Yeah. And yeah. these men ain't got no ordinary teeth. Oh, this man, mouth. Very red, red, red. Come on, June. Fly us. Put back the channel. Back, put back. Stay out there with you. You got pea right here looking on here for lunch. Yeah. Chunky and nice. Are you up on the wood there? On the branch? You can stick up there? Yeah. Just bounce over there. Second one. The Rupununi. Only menu. Nah. You got enough meat for going to menu. You got enough meat. Somewhere. Fish 
Watch when I run coin being into the local honey. Can't escape, Philip. Tal. Don't go in the car too much. Cool. Let's wait till he give up. He gave up just now. Yeah, right there. Mm. You good. I don't shake. Look. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> there's my picture size. I'm blowing up the boat. Alright, then, well, the place get too heated, and we pull in this car in here to do a quick roast. When the sun goes down, we can head back out. We are ready to clean up both the fish. So, Captain and set up for me. We are on the wild side, the Rupununi side. This one will give me a Rupununi style roast look at Anika. We walk with no grill. You can set up something for me. Yeah, man, Rupununi style. We tr try and pee right for the first time. And we try and Rupununi style look at Anika for the first time. <laughs> Mark set up them they're coming out. See them there? Hi, nice. I get by a site and some branch for them now. Alright, set three up the cappy. Come around there. Fire don't go in. Rupununi style, <laughs> the no wild pan, side. No pan, no grill, not in there. The wild side. Make it work till you get. <laughs> From the water to the fire. Really the pull it flat, yeah. mm -hmm. Put some uh, purple seasoning and some the Himalayan salt on it. Salt now. Put on some. Save some all purpose for the piranha. How much so this much? Yeah, let's give it a little sprinkle. Got all purpose seasoning already have salt. Oh, you look good. You look good, Cappy. Yeah. Mm, all right, you valid there. That's too much, Cappy. Yeah, here come just a little bit. Here come. Go get a park. Hold ship down here. All right, let me go and get a park, man. Looking good. You can hold it up here. Park, right? 
Oh yeah, your back and your shoulder got good for hold up like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Be right. Look at Nani. Rupanuni River look just like Superuni. When you went in Superuni, I just did just like this. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at Nani like this. Eh? Like millions. Alright, so as this done, eh? done is he top and back on the river again. And keep your eye out for them big black caiman. Cappy the next time when we see we can stop and pull up to you. See if we get some picture with you. Right. 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 Alright Rio. You pee right ready here. Eh? Just this piece more. Ah uh, cook. Well, he fatty, so he can take a little time on the rest. Come on, Arjun, walk up. Yeah. Ah, you hot? Hot? You hungry? Mm -hmm. I'm going to open the CFP, right? Your axe with things on the Essequibo River. Come on the Rupununi River and get it. No, I think so. Sample the action. Same looking at you. I'm jamming. Touch up. Or the Pirai area, you are good? Hot like grass. Hot? The, um, the ribs part of the Pirai. Sweeter. The ribs part going to be more sweet. So good. The ribs part, the middle part. The middle of the belly. Yeah, yeah this piece here. <laughs> you got to break off, break it in half, break off the leg. Hold on, dude. You're looking at me, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. Cooked nice and soft. Yeah, it is nice. Hmm. Come on, you walk up. Boss lady lashing out. Well, we finish our roast in there and we can head back out on the river and make a few more casts and see what we can get as we make our way back to the landing because it's a long drive through the savannah back to where we're staying. Yeah, Cappy, second round. And even if we ain't catching fish and you see a nice big caiman, we gonna get a close up view of it. Ah, Joe, man, jump on, holy. We go there, we see what more fun we could get to make our way back to the landing. Yeah, man. I hope you get it good. I hope you get it good. Think check out it. Came on food. Come on, you have players? Ah. Alright. Nice start as we left. Come out. Come out. Jump. Hi. Da June. You gotta hold this one in for me. Yeah, I'm bringing it in. Up. Yeah, that's a nice size one. Nice, yeah, you see so with this fine rod.
Body hole can you right? They're ready, they're ready. Body hook right, you can flick back. Good. Take here. Yeah, this is where you can find them lying like right now. then well we had to make a quick run in because of the rain and we're trying to make trying to take advantage of the bit of sunlight that we have remained to travel back to where we were staying we had a wonderful day out we had a nice cook got a few nice big looking annie and we run into a lot of really big caimans along the river when we make our way back well the captain said they have caiman right outside they, they would normally catch fish when they come back and feed them but none is not there so we can start heading all the way back to where we're staying we can sleep there tonight and make our way back to georgetown all day tomorrow let me give you guys a quick rundown based on what the guide told us so this place was established in 1927 it's an old balata company that's how old the big mill main building is well they do a lot of tours they do board watching where you can see the famous agami herring on the rupununi river yeah, uh, they also do caiman spotting where you can go out at night and you will shine and you will see a lot of big caimans just like we see on our fishing trip they have rooms and everything where you can stay it's a beautiful place so anytime you guys want to come down you can come down here and check it out or pay these guys a visit and go for a tour on the river top just like us back to Maracanata village yes, sir. that's where we spend the night and that's where we stayed last night nice trip catch a little monster Karasa by mountain ridge Good morning. This is another day here at this beautiful village here and today is our final day. We are heading back to Georgetown so we put aside this full day to travel all the way back to Georgetown where we have to take this guy that came out with us where we pick him up from let him so we're taking him back to let him we can just stick around see where we can pick up around there and then we can make we be back to josh them so that's life everything's come to an end look at this beauty here you have to leave all this here behind well it's nice for me to share it with you guys and this is a place you must visit anytime you're in guyano you wouldn't regret it the scenery the savannah and we're still keeping an eye out for a giant anteater because they will be running around in the savannah so as we make our way back through the savannah we can look out and see if we see any uh, the mountain range in the background so the dew ain't clear up as yet so when the sun come out you will see them more clear all right then so let me head in the vehicle and start making my way to let them You 
live in Guyana by the big Sakatu River. I'll catch a fish in the bottom there. Welcome to Brazil. Come on, Arjun, you gotta get a picture with this sign board though. Just so we can cross the bar though. Anyway, we just come over the Takatu Bridge. Really, truly, really, really want to check out the river, but they say we can come over without passport or anything. So we just make a drive and come over. And from here, we can make our way all the way back to Georgetown. Well, I've been further than this. I went all the way to Bovista before so we can just snap a few pictures we can head back over to Guyana and we can get something to eat and we can make our way all the way to Kurupakari Anai Kurupakari and then Mabura and then all the way to Georgetown so we'll be reaching home late tonight because we can make a few stops along the way enjoy the view for the last as we make our way back to Georgetown so let me join the group up a few pictures and head back over to Guyana. Cars on the other side of the road. Well, the bridge can tell you they have a mixer by the bridge where you know well you will have to switch lane. God, they drive on the opposite side. They don't drive on the side like Guyana. Alright guys, well it's 2 o'clock and we made it here to the crossing so it's time we cross back over on the other side of the Essequibo River. Look at how beautiful that rapid is. That's why we normally join the boat from over that side so we avoid this rapid here. The boat would normally just come across from, a, from that island above this rapid and that's where we join it because we don't want to come over on this end and take the boat to go up on the rapid so we're crossing over the other side now come Jamil take your time right now people just catching the symptoms and just drive overboard <clears throat> tired long drive all right so we make it we really go head over the other side just a proper trip first time to let them it took us three hours to get here and when we cross over the other side it will take us seven hours from here to georgetown so this is where we're going to end this video uh, jamil and his daughter ria is in the back thanks to both of them for inviting me and arjun on this trip this is where we at we are crossing back over to the other side of the essex river river as we make our way to georgetown so if you're to come on this trip I think you should drive, you would really enjoy it more. But for the older folks, I think you should fly, it would be really harassing. So, thanks for joining me on this one. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. And see you guys in the next video. Nice man. Big up yourself. Seven hours to judge, Tom.